is actually more stressful because uh, we have to constantly keep up with, with um, getting good grades and everything. So I don't think that it's enough just to spread out over a time period. It's not only based on academics. So maybe you could also uh, give this perception that it is okay to uh, do better in some areas and do not so well in other areas. So instead of testing the main four subjects, maybe you could add in other subjects to be, to be tested and this would maybe take off the focus on say maths and science. Add more subjects. <laughs> First of all, add more subjects. Um, reduce the emphasis on four main subjects. Okay, we want a system that also of education that also um, puts in a bit of uh, drive and gets the students to want to achieve more. Again, Embrace different paths of success. Each path can lead to success in its own way, and each path can lead to excellence and fulfillment in life. I mean, all, all the athletes and all right, can just serve the basic one, the basic military training, which is like three months or so. At least they know the basic skills um, to protect the countries and all. If people get aren't allowed to be exempted because they have talent, that might be a problem where we have it's not something we like NS, but it's something we need. Sometimes choice is not an option here. So, but guys in this country, and by guys I mean men, we are expected to serve the nation by the age of 15. So how do you reconcile this difference that we are expected or prepared to serve, or even die for this country, if you can't choose your people to represent us? Because um, I think that, I mean now this people talk about like, gender equality or stuff, so guys and girls can both serve NS, but because the minister also mentioned that they don't have so, I mean, give her a choice for them to do the army or do the, to, to get pregnant. Which one would they choose? It's good in theory, but maybe practical is not.